Welcome to this week's edition of Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. I'm Denzel Johnson. And I'm Callie Rice. Well, men's basketball had their red and white scrimmage this past weekend. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was great to finally play against each other with fans in the stands. And I just want to send a big thanks to all the Rough Riders that came out and supported us early in the morning. The cross-country team will be hosting the Bronco Invitational this Saturday in Sunnyvale. The team's looking sharp, and they're excited to finally be running at home. I, Bronco, got a chance to catch up with the team out of practice and talk about the weekend. All right, hi, I'm Brian Crook from the men's cross-country team. This weekend we have our home meet at the Bronco Invitational, and I'm pretty stoked to try and run fast. It's a good course. Hopefully lots of our friends come out and watch us. Yeah, so this weekend we're hoping to have a breakout race. You know, all season everything's kind of been coming together, and we just haven't quite put it together race day. So it's our home meet. Hopefully all of our friends will be there. And hopefully we can go out and beat some WCC competition. Hi, I'm Mary Cree. I'm a junior on the Santa Clara cross country team. Uh, this weekend we have our Bronco Invitational, our home meet of the season. Um, this weekend I'm most looking forward to uh, being able to race in Santa Clara and have some people from the school come out and watch us and uh, get to race against some of our WCC competition. Women's golf will be hosting the Colby Invitational at Silver Creek Country Club next Monday and Tuesday in San Jose. Good luck to the team and be sure to make your way out to Silver Creek to support your Broncos. On the men's side, the golf team placed fourth in their last tournament at the Cabo del Sol Intercollegiate down in Mexico. Their fourth place was a program's best finish since 2011 and Coach Miller said he was very pleased with the team's final two rounds. The team will now compete in the Alistair McKenzie Invitational this week in Sonoma. Well, men's soccer fell in overtime this past weekend against USF, but picked up a clutch road win against St. Mary's. Senior Harrison Hanley notched a goal in during regulation and had the game-winning assist in overtime. iBronco reporter Sofia Huerta got to sit down with Hanley and talk about the win. What's up, Broncos? I'm Sofia Huerta, and I'm here with Harrison Hanley from the men's soccer team. So congratulations on your goal last weekend. You. It's your second goal of the season. How would you say your senior year is going so far? Uh, started off a little slow, but the last couple games have been picking up, and um, hopefully I can uh, close it out and keep playing well. Perfect. So in your last game, you scored in regulation and then assisted to Edson in overtime. Um, how did your team feel when you guys scored that goal and the game was over? We were just ecstatic. Everyone was going crazy. Um, we had a huge dog pile on the field, and uh, I think we crushed Edson a little bit, but uh, it, was, it was cool. Okay, so you guys play Portland and Gonzaga next week at home. Um, two very solid teams. That always is a good matchup for the Broncos. What's the game plan for you guys this week in practice to prepare for both these teams? Really just to work on our offense. Um, everything else, you know, we've been doing really well defensively and uh, moving the ball, but it's just finishing. That's all we need to do. Um, but, you know, we've been doing better the last couple games, uh, but, you know, hopefully we can put the ball in the back of the net. A lot easier said than done. Yeah. I, I know that um, too well. But thank you so much for coming in today, and congrats on your goal. Again, the men will be hosting the WCC Game of the Week this Friday at 7 p.m. against Gonzaga, which can also be watched live on the WTV. Then again on Sunday at 2 against Portland. Women's Volleyball continues their conference run this Thursday at 7 p.m. against the UOP, then on Saturday against St. Mary's at 1 p.m. Both games will be here in the Levy Center. Well, the tennis teams were on a roll this past weekend as senior Katie Lee took the top single spot at the St. Mary's Invitational. Katie also took the top doubles draw with partner Danielle Silva. On the men's side, John Lamble and Ilya Ostensev went undefeated in the opening day of the Battle in the Bay Classic, reaching the quarterfinals of the tournament on day two. I, Bronco, caught up with Katie Lee and John Lamble to talk about the team's successes. Hi, I'm John Lamble on the men's tennis team, and uh, so far this fall season, I've traveled to All-Americans in Tulsa, Oklahoma with my assistant coach, Rudy Siwi, and uh, we had a great time there. Um, I won a couple of matches, and it was just me traveling to this tournament, and I only played singles. Um, this past weekend, I was at Battle of the Bay, Classic in San Francisco up at the California Athletic Club, which is a really nice club in the middle of the city. Um, there I play doubles with my regular partner, Ilya Osinsev, um, who I've had a lot of success with in the past. Um, 
we haven't played for a while um, because of the summer and all, and it was our first tournament back together. And I think overall it went fairly well. We won our first match against a solid Stanford doubles team. And then in the next round, we played a really close match against Boise State and uh, unfortunately fell in the tiebreaker. Hi, I'm Katie Lee on the women's tennis team. And this past weekend, we played the St. Mary's Invitational. Um, I played a really great tournament. I've been training really hard, and um, I was fortunate enough to win both the singles and doubles portion of the tournament. Um, I played with a new partner this tournament, and her name is Daniela Silva. She's a freshman, and she's been doing great at practice, and she has great hands at the net. And um, I'm really looking forward to the rest of the season playing with her. This upcoming weekend, I am also playing regionals in Palo Alto, California at Stanford. And I'm looking forward to another great tournament, and hopefully I'll be able to um, do as well as I did in this one. Well, women's soccer got two wins this weekend as we opened our conference play against USD and BYU. We now head on the road to play St. Mary's on Friday at 4 p.m. and again at the University of Pacific this Sunday at 1 p.m. A special congratulations to senior Julie Johnson as she was named WCC Women's Soccer Player of the Week. Men's water polo, currently ranked 15th, will have their alumni game this Saturday at noon. Then on Sunday, they'll play two matches, one against number one UCLA at 12 and against West Valley at four. Well, that's going to do it for this week's Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. Go Broncos!